on a De Vere site today in Burrowbridge. The brickwork and the arch stone sills and heads on the house were all damaged and stained. The bay roof hadn't been sealed properly. A lot of water ingress there, not very good. Above the front door, should have had a bead on it. You can actually get your fingers in. Absolutely ridiculous that, that shouldn't be like that. Nobody's thinking about it, checking it or snagging it properly. Gary's door frame, Gary's door frame hadn't been sealed. See the packers there. So again, this house has been signed off Premier Guarantee. Rear garden gate. I think the fencer ran out of screws on this one. Ridiculous. Gate post, gate post was loose, it bolted it but I didn't tighten the bolts. I mean come on, somebody should be checking this, this shouldn't be happening, I shouldn't be picking these things up. Underneath the bifold doors, just look at the state of that. I haven't trimmed the expanding form off, I haven't sealed it properly. That should never have got like that and been passed. Brickwork. Unfortunately, you can see where the scaffolding's been against the brickwork with no protection. That brick now needs taking out and replacing. On the roof, the box end was open, dressed the lead round nicely into the gutter, but the box end hadn't been finished. Usual fault. 18 mil outer square on the front door reveals. In the bathrooms, none of the Tarling had been sealed against the architrave. Across the top of the tiles, this is downstairs cloaks. Just look at that finish. Not very good. This house has been handed over to the customer, which is absolutely poor, really. Downstairs cloaks again, doesn't comply with part M. Minimum gap should be 750mm. We're probably around about 550 so nobody's checked that, that should not have passed CML. That's a big job now to change. Behind the toilet, the tiling on the floor and the wall all needed grouting. These are not big jobs, they should be done. Still got the packers or the spaces in the tiles, you can see those. Not very good at all. In the dining room, the sashes on the window had been split. Window fitter had fitted the beads too tight and split the frames. That needed two new sashes. Somebody's got to pay for it. Fridge. The bottom of the fridge housing was damaged. That now needs replacing. That's not repairable. And the freezer door. That was also damaged as well. So... Probably by the plastic surgeon, but the bottom can't be. Worked up in the utility, it was all smashed. I'd had something dropped on it with an eye impact. In the shower, tiles are lipping. So you're allowed two mil, but that's more than two mil. So that needs taking out and replacing. Again, bathrooms and en suites. None of the tiles have been sealed around the ceilings. Paint on the tiles. Grout missing. Not very good at all. Don't forget, this house has been signed off and handed over to the customers complete. Shower door in the bathroom wasn't even on the rails. I don't know how you miss these things, but surely. Somebody should be checking these. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. In the garage, fire stopping, breaching building regulations. You shouldn't have pathways for fire. That needs fixing as soon as possible. Not very good at all. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. Thank you.